So if I had a legacy, right, it would be Kofila. K-O-F-E-L-A. Know our father, every last aspect. Or know our father, right? Yep. Expect more, live more, achieve more. So what happened is how Kofila came to me was, um, I'm sleeping in Brooklyn, and I hear Kafa on the, on, on the television. It just wakes me up. And I thought, yo, that's gonna be my clothing line. But then 9-11 happens, and God's like, you have to change it. You were there? Yes, I lived in Brooklyn at the time. I'm saying, I actually smoked this morning. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I told people that, if you're not living in Brooklyn, if you was living in the city where it happened, it was just a movie for you. My, my ex, actually, mom actually has a burnt hundred dollar bill and some mail or some uh, paper from the World Trade. You know what I'm saying? Really? So it's real, right? So what happened is, I come back to Buffalo, I'm reading the scriptures. I'm reading Job 38.3. And in Job 38.3, before our father speaks to Job, he tells him, gird yourself like a man. Because I'm a designer, I put clothing on me. I put, I wrap myself with a garment. I'm doing it for like a month, every day straight. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Then he comes in, he chimes in again. He says, Hampton, you want to know why you're doing it? Yes, I want to know why I'm doing it. He takes me to the library. We all know there's millions of books in the library. Yep. He takes me to one book. The book is The Effortless Principle. If he gave me a million years, I would never believe I could ever leave, live on this planet effortlessly. And that's what he gave me. The ability to say, listen, I am doing you to move on this planet effortlessly. I was a booster in my past life, so I already had the mentality that nothing can stop me. The booster code is this code. Owe no one, take no money before the deed is done, and the last thing is this. Locks only stop honest people. Absolutely. That's it. So I already had the mentality in me. My family raised me to be a fox. To, to walk the streets, to move the streets by myself. At three, I had water dumped on my head. I had booby traps set for me. From three until I was 15, almost every day, I had booby traps set for me. So when he said, Hampton, I want you to move to this earth effortlessly, it just crushed me. It took all my intelligence, took all the things that I thought I knew, until, as intelligent as I thought I was, and said, you know nothing. This is your father speaking to you. He chimed in so well, I was actually able to give, forgive my physical dad or father. Yep. So I actually called him over, went to my grandmother's house, I said, yo, call my dad over. He came over, I told him, you know what? I love you. I didn't say it at the time, but I love you. I realized as a man, you like gambling. But you gambled on the wrong thing. You should gamble on your son. And your family. You should gamble on your family first. Put all your chips on your family first. So I tell him, you know what I'm talking about? I love you. But I realize as a man, you chose, I just think you chose wrong. On your last breath, there's no animosity between you and I. And the beautiful thing about me saying that now is, I do at times, or did at times, want him to die. And I thought he was deserving of death. And if I brought that hand through, it was justified. But, in that same context, I told him, I said, you know what, you were my dad. You were the vessel in which I had to come through. But I know Abba, I am that I am. Yahweh is my father, I am okay. That's it. And I can't touch me. They're gonna call me a beast. I have the markings of the beast. I have six fingers and I'm a man on both hands. But when a man who knew me for 20 years turns to me and say, are you a man you well? And I have no choice but to testify that God is with us, then that now becomes my name. Y'all see the Hamptons. I can serve all. I can cater to all. But what I truly am is Emmanuel, our Father with us. The one who believes that he is here. The one who allows me to be on Nate's porch right now and record this story. This is forever.